You can set any section as a global section to have its content mirrored on multiple pages without having to copy and paste everything over, which can be a real time saver when you want the same information to appear on multiple pages of the site, such as contact info, social handles, or FAQs. And any changes you make in the global section are applied everywhere it appears across the site, including content, design, animations, interactions, and layout changes. Let's check it out. Your header and footer are automatically set as global sections, so they'll show on every page of your site. If we go back to editing, we'll see the default header that came with our blank section. We can change its logo, menu, and add more elements if we want. And if we move to other pages on the site, we'll see that those changes are reflected everywhere. You also have the option to set different types of headers and choose the one you want to use on each page. You can only set a header or footer as a global section when it is on the edge of the screen. So in this case, we can make this new section a header by moving it up and setting it as a global header. Now the global menu automatically opens and we can set this header's name. To remove the old one, just right click and choose remove from page. This new global header will only show up on this page, but you can apply it to other pages by selecting it on the global sections panel and choosing all the pages you want it to show on. This is your global sections panel. It's where you'll find all your global sections, whether they're live on your site or not. They're broken down into three categories, header, footer, and section. You can click these three dots next to each one to bring up some additional options like edit, set as default, add to, rename, duplicate, and delete. The header we removed is still in this panel and is still set as the default header. This means that every time you create a new page, this will be its header. To make that new header we picked the default, just click those three dots and choose set as default. Now it'll be the default on any of your new pages, but this won't change the headers on pages you've already made. To change those, go back to the Global Sections panel, click Next to the new header, and choose Add to. Then apply the new header to these pages. We'll add our old header to this page. Now, let's say you want to have some variation in your header. For example, on the second page in our site, we might want to remove this line. If we remove the line from the global section here, it'll delete from every iteration of the section. So to create another version, go to the page you want to make changes on, then right-click the section and choose Detach from Global Section. Now, any changes you make will only apply to this specific instance, but it also means that this section is no longer global. So if anything else changes here, you'll need to update this page manually. If you want it to be a part of a global section again, once you've made your edits, you can right click it again and click set as global section. Then back in your global sections panel, you'll see that this variation was saved as a new global section header. You can rename it to keep things organized. Any section on a site can be a global section, and you can add the same content to some or all of the pages at the same time. Take this section for example. Let's say you want this to be a banner that appears on all of your other pages. You can just set it as a global section and choose which other pages you want to add it to. Then just like headers and footers, when you update this global section, it'll update on every page you add it to. You can make your global headers even more dynamic with scroll effects. To add one, go to the scroll effect menu. With the transition toggle on, choose what you want to customize. First is move, which puts you in control of which direction the header will move off the page, how far it'll move, if there'll be a delay, and the time your transition will take to get the effect you want. You can also choose from ease options to control how your animation will ease in and out. 
To see the effect more clearly, we can set the position type to either sticky or pinned. If you switch from move to fade, you just have to set the delay and duration of your transition. Transition scroll effects will apply across every breakpoint. If you add or edit any of your breakpoints, it'll apply to all. So when you're previewing, take a second to check out how it looks on each breakpoint. You can also add a fill color effect to a global header, so it'll be one color when someone lands on your site and slowly change when they scroll. Just like the other animations, fill color effects will cascade down to other breakpoints. But unlike transition effects, you can tweak fill color effects on each breakpoint by picking a different fill color for each. So let's change the color of the header on the tablet breakpoint to purple. Now we've got orange on desktop and purple on tablet, which means purple will also cascade down to mobile. Now you're set to edit your global headers, footers, and sections. Meet me in our next lesson to create and customize site styles.